let's look at this shelf unit here. If I have this box drawn over here for a cabinet and I look at this shelf and I say the proportion is wrong, then I'm going to shave off a bunch of that and make it much narrower, right? If I want it to be taller, then I can make it higher. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to trace this line. Maybe I'm going to look at it and say it's not very straight, so I'm going to make it go straighter. I like this line here. This is going to be where my footprint starts, but it's only going to come out, let's say, this far. All right? I don't want my, my shelf unit to be that thick, so now I'm going to make this go straight up and down. Looking at the edge of my paper to help me make those corrections. So this is going to be the end of my shelf unit. Once I get that done, I can go from here to vanishing point and from here to vanishing point. Then I can come back here where I want this end to be and if this comes horizontally here, then that's going to be the end of the shelf unit in the front. Now it's probably time to move this paper because it's confusing me. Now, should these be the same height? Yes, they should be. If this goes horizontal here, this should go horizontal here. So these guys should come up to the same height. And then this connects to here and should meet on the way to the vanishing point. And these two connect out front on their way to the vanishing point. This feels like a pretty good box to ship this guy in, right? I want to create, I think instead of doing this exactly, I'm going to design my own shelf, but I want it to look kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go halfway down top to bottom here. I'm going to make a mark. Actually, let's just do this shelf. There's one, two, three, four, five openings, right? So I need to divide this into five pieces. So first I'm finding the center. I'm going to go above and below that. Then I'm going to go here and there, and that's going to give me one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to look at them. Maybe I'm going to divide them a little bit. Move this one down a touch. So that one can come down a touch. Just so they feel about right. They don't have to be exact. Today, we're just trying to get our sense of how to draw this shelf. So, I've divided this end of the cabinet. So, this is if I drew straight across in here, this is where these shelves connect to the end of this cabinet, right? So, the front of the shelves are going in depth back to the vanishing point. So, this shelf I'm going to draw to the vanishing point, and it's going to look pretty much horizontal because it's at eye level. These are all going to rise. Notice how this shelf is falling towards eye level because it's above eye level. These shelves are all going to rise as they move towards eye level. So take each one of these points, connect them to your vanishing point. So now we know we have a shelf happening here and there and here there and we have one happening on the floor. Each of those shelves has a thickness. So our next step is going to be to make this wood thicker. So I'm going to draw a line right next to it. Inside of here so that I can show the thickness of that wood. Right and then I'm going to go all around the cabinet and I'm going to do that. So I'm going to draw a line right below this. I'm going to draw a line right above this line here. I'm going to draw a line right inside of this here. 
Now if you think about it, this should actually be narrower than this out here. So if this is a little bit thicker, that'll help your illusion of perspective. Each of these shelves has a thickness, right? So let's take a line underneath or above. If you look at your measurements and you're like, oh, this one's too big, then draw it underneath instead of above, right? Now all those line practices that we did where we drew one line right next to the other are starting to make sense. So now we've got the front of the shelves drawn in. We need to draw lines that go vertically to divide them, right? Now, this cabinet, if we look at it from above, I think that this comes right down through the middle, that shelf, and that these shelves probably come through the middle of here and there, right? So since we know how to divide things that move off into space, take an X from this corner to this corner, and this corner to this corner. This right here is the center of my shelf unit. So I can take a line here and thicken it up. And I can jump one and put a line here, right below that. And then here I'm going to put one to the floor. That's these center braces here. And then if I take that and I X across there again, I can take this to find the center of this, right? So I'm going to X from here to there and from here to there, very lightly. I'm going to go vertically here. I'm going to X across here. I'm going to go vertically here. Just to give me some guidelines, and it looks like every other shelf has a shelf going here and here, and then over here, and here. Just make sure those are lined up straight up and down, straight up and down. If it's getting confusing, take an eraser and kind of clean that up so you can see what the heck is going on in there. All right. Now here's something's happening where I showed the end of the cabinet. It's This is actually the floor, so I need to come up to this point and draw that line horizontally in there and let this line go. But if I come here, I can actually see where this shelf has a horizontal connection. And this shelf is going to have a horizontal, and this is going to have a horizontal, and this is going to have a horizontal. All these lines now what happens when I get up to eye level? I'm not going to see the top or the bottom of the shelf that's on the eye level. Just like I don't see the top or the bottom of the tape roll when it's at eye level, as soon as it goes above my eye level, I see underneath it. As soon as it goes below my eye level, I see on top of it. So here I've been drawing where this attaches to the, to the shelf above. Under here, I'm going to start seeing the underside of this board and this board as they attach to, so here's the top of the shelf unit. All right, so these are all going in depth. Now, some of these seem really long, and because my shelf unit is clear over here, I'm gonna see more inside. I wanna know if I'm gonna see the end of that. So I can take this line here and say, if this is going to be my floor line, then I'm actually going to see this one end right there. Right? See how this floor line is coming along to meet the end of that shelf? So I'm going to actually see that. I'm going to see here, and right in there, I'm going to actually see the wall through that shelf. This here, looks like I'm going to see a tiny little bit there. But what this does is it makes it so I can take this line to the back of this is a middle shelf, so I can take that straight up to this next middle shelf and say, I'm going to see something there. 
and then this comes straight up to this shelf. I'm going to see something end right there. This shelf here looks too wide to me, so I'm going to bring this over this way. I'm trying to figure out where these are going to end. Well, I'm going to bring this down to the floor. I'm going to walk horizontally across to the wall till I touch this floor line on the wall. Then I'm going to come up and say it's there and here. It seems a little far over to the left. I'm going to move it just a touch. And this one, I need to walk this down to the floor, walk it horizontally across, and then up, and it's all behind this thing. So these two are actually going to go all the way and be covered by that. They're not going to end until they get out here. My last step is to take these hanging corners and say, which direction do I need to go to fill that information in? I have height, I have width, so I need depth. I need something that goes away from the vanishing point to this corner, right? Here I need something that connects this corner to that corner and that also moves towards the vanishing point. So this is now the board on top of the unit. This is the board at the end. This is the other divider. Here I need to show that shelf going towards the vanishing point. This one we said was not going to end till in there. So here I'm seeing the back wall. Here I'm seeing the back wall. vanishing point. I'm missing something here. This is really empty. Well, I have vanishing point already and I have vertical, so I need to go horizontal in here. And that horizontal needs to connect to this one. So it looks like I'd see something like that and then this line should be headed towards that one because this line and this are the same line, right? Here I need a horizontal, don't I? I'm going to see a little bit of the top of that shelf back there. Line, line, line. Make sure your lines are all lining up. Make sure everything makes sense to you, that you haven't left out a horizontal like I did over there. Make sure that this looks like the end of that, so that needs to then go away from vanishing point this way. And I want to erase that line because I'm not using it now. So there's the back wall in there, just like that one and that one I see down there. Let's just go in with the eraser and clean this up a little bit so we can see what's going on. And that creates a nice shelf unit in there. <laughs>